I'm out here today on the annual bluegrass fairway at the Michigan State University Turfgrass Research Center. One of the things we love about our annual bluegrass fairway is we get lots of disease, and this year is no different. So as the snow receded this spring, we see that we have lots of lesions out there left behind by snow mold, and uh, we see that we had both types of snow mold that were active for us. Uh, the lesions that you find that are mostly recovering at this point, you see that the center section is green and, and the disease is not really active anymore. That's going to be the gray snow mold, or Tifala incarnata, or Tifala ischicariensis. And uh, that needs at least three months of snow cover in order for that to become active. And this spring, those patches are now starting to recover, and that's not going to be active anymore. Uh, the other lesions that we see that still have a, a nice uh, copper edge to them with that active uh, growth is the pink snow mold, or Microdochium nivale. And uh, not only uh, that does not need snow cover, and with our cool conditions of spring, and here in Michigan, maybe through April and May for sure, we can have new uh, pink snow mold occurring, which is what's happening right now as these lesions are starting to get bigger. And then also we're starting to see what looks like to be a dollar spot, or some incorrectly identify this as copper spot because of the coloration, which is new uh, microdochium activity that's happened just in the last two weeks. So any of the snow mold applications that you did last fall are not going to be effective on, these, uh, on, the, on the active disease this spring. So if you have some areas that are important to you, you're going to want to get out there and try to arrest that development with the application of a fungicide. And uh, just know what you're seeing and know what you're not seeing.